Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. What's the actual date today? 22nd. 22nd. Myself and Mark Hello. are off to a fragrance house to sniff out all the fragrances and have a lot of fun and get to know what our nose loves the most. Mm -hmm. Just thought I'd show you our outfits. I really like mine today. I'm very happy. I feel like the two of us are very spring-like. Yeah, I think we do. I think we look great. Great. <laughs> okay, so Mark, give us a rundown of what you've got. Okay, these trainers yeah. are from Top Man. Yeah, nice. Really comfortable. These jeans, um, well, they're not three quarter lengths. Like they're like ankle grazers. Ankle grazers. These are from top, um, ASOS. Love. New Look Man. Ah. And ASOS. ASOS. Nice. ASOS. ASOS. And Family Heirloom. <laughs> Family Heirloom. Never take it off. I have got shirt ASOS. I've had this quite a while, but I love it. And then I've got a little top underneath to keep me warm. A little cami. Got a little bit of eyebrow gel on there as well. I tried to get it off, couldn't. Waterproof. Keeping really it real. Waterproof. <laughs> so we'll just pretend that's not there. Um, my glasses are Ray-Ban. They're the ones that fold up really tiny. Um, I've got my rings on. One from Alfie, one from Poppy and Sean. I always have these on. A lot of people ask me about these. I think this one is, is a Cartier love ring. And this is a Maria... Oh, what's the brand? I've forgotten it. Miss, not Misoma. I can't remember. That's annoying, isn't it? I'll put it in the description box, but that one's from Poppy and Sean for my birthday last year. Um, and then I've got these trousers on, which are ASOS. They're like high-waisted, like, flary boys. And then I've got my little belt on that I've had for ages, and this is from ASOS, this little ASOS waist belt. And then my shoes are these, which I am obsessed with. These are from Zara. I had them in my haul recently. And that's my outfit. And I think I'm going to go leather jacket. Love it. Love the trains. Thanks. So we better hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back. Oh my God, I'm dancing like an, an old auntie. lady. <laughs> Why am I dancing like this? Well, hit the know. road, Jack. <laughs> more sultry. Yeah, more sultry. <laughs> hit that road, Jack. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited. Are Mark was like, Mark was like, oh my god, what is this? I think this is gonna be my fave. I haven't even smelt any of this. Have you not? No. I'll let you smell it in the car. Oh my god. This is just a pre-production, so it's not quite how it's supposed to be. Like this is gonna be like fully holographic. Oh my god, I love the holographic stuff. This looks nice. And just oh my god, yeah. Look, look at this, you're gonna love it. That product. <gasps> that is so cool. So yeah. <laughs> First glimpse, but it's not the proper thing, so. There will be changes. There will be changes it. made. <laughs> but I need to bring this with me today to give back to someone at SLG. Cool. So that is why we got it. Amen. Right. Goodbye, Alfie. Goodbye. Love you. Oh, yeah. I'm here. Mm. Have a lovely day. I know, but when I sit next to Mark, I'm not taller at all. So I, like, I feel I, taller. You're not notice, I wouldn't notice, I don't think. You did notice. No, I didn't. Oh, I did tell you I was wearing. Yeah. Oh. Bye. She stood around the corner. Bye then. <laughs> She's still there. Oh. If I obviously I set my alarm anyway, but like you just start singing and it's so loud and it echoes in the bathroom and I'm already away. I'm such a morning person. Yeah, same. I should probably do a little video on like things I do in the morning, but then. Nothing can make you a morning person if you're not a morning person. Because I was like, step one, when you wake up, get up. Yeah. But is that not just normal? Isn't that like, that's not really a tip? Although Most some people, people probably doze. Some people wake up, snooze, doze, check the phone, lay, go back to sleep. That's literally my first number one tip to be a morning person. The minute you wake up, get up. Yeah. Like, get out of bed. I put my phone. Or sit up if you find getting out of bed harder. You put your phone up. on the other side of the room with your alarm. Yeah, good get, idea. Get like a wake up mist. I love wake up mists. Mm. Or a diffuser with a bit of peppermint and eucalyptus in it. Yeah. Have you ordered one of them yet? Still ain't. Oh, you've got to do it. It's life changing. I love it. I need to get it. I love that this is like morning tips with Zoe and Mark. <laughs> yeah, it's only 10.25 as well. Go outside is another thing. Open a window. Open a window, go outside, get some form of fresh air. For me, that's quite easy because I have a dog, so I have to go outside. But once you've hit that freezing <laughs> yeah. minus one outside frost, if you're then in a flat you're awake. Like me, just open the windows. Because it takes a while for me to get downstairs in the flat. Yeah. So just open the big old windows. 
Just smile. Wake up and smile. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that needs to be on a t-shirt, Mark. Wake up and smile. Oh my God, okay. Or, it sounds like a TV program. Wake up and smile with Zara and Mike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are heading to a place called Bishop Stortford. Have what you heard of that before? I can't say I have sweat up. No, I haven't either. Let's hit the road. I'm so excited. Let's not crash into Alfie's. <laughs> Away, old silver. Oh. We go. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? <laughs> um, I don't know why we just sang that or why that just popped into my head, but I don't think I've sung that in 20 years. <laughs> Why you far away and dream it and I kiss your ass. <laughs> Do you know what my favourite song is at the moment? I can be a hero, baby. I feel like that's been your favourite song for a really long time. <laughs> Do you know what my favourite song is? My love. You love that song. I don't. I just love it. Has anyone else noticed Mark's been singing that song for, for half a year? <laughs> <laughs> Literally since summer. Yeah, I know. Since it came out. Only that little bit as well. Just the mala. How big can you make your nostrils? <laughs> so the wider your nostrils, the smaller your mouth. Probably got a bat in the cave, haven't I? No. Mm, that's a surprise. Oh. 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 oh Diablo. Oh. Oh. Oh god, I parked really close, Mark. Look Are you there. Right? Oh god. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I think I can get out. <laughs> Mind that leg. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want that one. <laughs> Millie, you got me going crazy by myself. Back on our journey, having loads of deep chats. I love our deep chats. So do I. You know the chat in the car when we were in um, Margate? Everyone loved that. Mm. And I'm telling you now, me and Mark are 50% crying with laughter, 50% deep chats. Yeah. We're talking about going with your gut instinct on things and how I'm a little bit psychic. <laughs> yeah. Like real life psychic. Yeah. Like I think things and then they happen. Or I think things are going to happen and then they do and then I'm like, I knew it. Sometimes you just know there's like an energy about a situation. Like, I know this isn't like what we were talking about, but like, in terms of like, nights out, mm. you know me, I love going out. I rarely say no to a night out, but there's been times where I've been like, I just don't feel like tonight is the night where I want to be going out. And then I message my friends the next day and they'll be like, oh no, it was a really crap night. Like this That's happened, that you happened. weren't there. <laughs> oh, stop it, you. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes you just get a feeling that something's not right. Yeah. Like, sometimes like I miss out on an event which I'm not really like, I don't feel like I should be there. And then I'll talk about it or I'll see something and I'm like, oh my God, I'm actually glad I didn't go because that, like, so, so many stuff about that, like that happens. The mind is a weird thing, guys. <laughs> so weird. I love that everything happens for a reason. Oh. I tell myself this all the time. All the time. Like, there is a reason for everything. Yeah. If I had got into the Brit school, I probably would we, have met? we wouldn't have met. Would you have done YouTube? Do you think? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Because, Imagine if I didn't start a blog. Yeah. Like where would we be? There's so many crazy things. Like little tiny things. Like well, obviously it's big things. But me going to uni. Um, yeah. me, if I got into the Brit school, I wouldn't have gone to uni. And I wouldn't have met people that told me about YouTube. Obviously, like, naturally, I probably would have watched it. But, like, so many things that oh, happened. Stuff like that really, like, shit, like, shit you up a bit. Yeah, like it? Final Destination, eh? Yeah. But without the death. Without the death. <laughs> I always think, imagine if I did go to uni. God, yeah. I nearly did. What would you have studied? Um, I really wanted to do something in fashion. Oh, yeah. But I didn't know what there was to do in fashion. Like, yeah. I feel like my school, as great as it was, when you were in sixth form, they didn't really educate you on the different areas of within a career. No. So for me, and I, although I could have probably done my own research, um, I just didn't know 
exactly yeah. what I wanted to do. So I didn't want to then go into a career path that I wasn't sure about because yeah. I was a bit worried I wouldn't then be able to get back out of it. My school was very pro uni, like it's oh, the thing to do. Too. It was like, like it's yeah. the thing to do. So I was just, oh my god, what do I want to do? And I was just like, well, I like media. I don't want to go to drama school because the Brit school didn't work out for me. Nothing wrong with the Brit school. I just, my audition was just effing awful. Did you ever record it or anything? No. So have I ever told you about this? Yeah, you have. Oh, uh, it was just a bloody nightmare. But. I think that that put me off for life and the fact that I couldn't listen to the phrase album for years because that's I heard it on the radio then I heard it in the Brit school and I just couldn't listen to it it's just awful that's what put me off doing drama at uni so it's just like what's my next thing oh I love doing film and TV so I did it there but like even if I didn't go to uni I don't think I'd be experienced with editing like that's why I got into YouTube shows so quickly because I knew how to edit. I love your editing as well. Yeah. That was one <laughs> of the you. things I loved when I watched your videos. <laughs> Everyone's been really liking my more behind the scenes vlogging, like showing more of meetings and stuff. Yeah. And it's been so nice and like really reassuring to read the comments because I was so nervous to do it because I thought I'm giving people more to judge, if that makes sense. Like I'm giving them more. I'm giving them like, not just like me. I'm giving them like me in a meeting, me making something, which I feel like is something I'm so precious about. Yeah, that um, is opening a whole new side of your life to people. Yeah. But then I think this, it will shut up the doubters as well. Yeah, and I didn't even really think about that. Yeah. Like I just wanted people to know that it's not always like, fun and laughter, do you know what I mean? Like, I felt like people only really wanted to watch the fun vlogs. Thinking about it now, of course they think when I'm not filming, I'm not, like how do they know what I'm doing when I'm not filming? Mm. It's so, very interesting. Yeah, like there's people that have left comments like, I'm so sorry, I completely doubted how much work you did. Like, really? Yeah, and then they're like, I am actually so, um, I take it all back. Like you starting to show all this side, I just assumed when you're not filming, you're not really doing anything. It's so crazy to me how some people may think that you just sit on your arsehole and just slap your names on stuff. That's just not how, like, that's not how anything works. No, it just don't happen. But then I also do understand there's people, this is such a new career. So it's yeah. more so, like, people don't really know enough about the business side of it because it just looks like filming videos and like releasing things. It doesn't, like no one sees that. So I feel like it's really nice that they're getting to see that. Mm -hmm. And now I'm obsessed with wanting to see everyone else's. I am really, really enjoying it. I'm glad everyone, I'm glad you guys are all enjoying it. Yeah, um, it's new as well. Yeah, and one thing that I did not think it would do would be motivating for people. Everyone's like, I feel so motivated. I'm like, oh. I don't know, I just didn't think it would make people feel like that. I think when you watch someone who's just so passionate about what they're doing, it, you just can't help but be, okay, this is my chance now, I want to be doing that. That's how I feel. If I watch, like, that's why my favourite people are passionate people, because mm. I bounce off their energy. And if yeah. someone is, like, talking about something they love, I, I'm never paying more attention to anything in my life. Yeah. And it inspires me. So I get that 100%. Yeah. And there's nothing better than just looking at someone get so like happy and excited about what they love. Even if it's not for you, it's just nice to know that people are just passionate about stuff. I just yeah. love it. And I'm such like an advocate for if you really want to do something and you're really passionate about it, do it. Yeah, you just gotta do it. Put your balls you on the table. Yeah, and you don't wanna get to like, like I said in our other video and think what would my life have been like if I tried it yeah yes it might be scary yes it might not have a reliable income at first yes it might cost you money to do like there's so many elements around something yeah. like maybe someone's family don't want them to do it maybe like you know they feel like they can't or they won't be good enough like yeah. there's so many reasons why people don't follow through with something they love mm. and it's so sad like it makes me so sad that there could be so many people watching this with such drive and passion and like 
they're so good at something and they know they're so good at it, but they don't feel like they can execute that at all. Yeah, and it's something's holding them back. Yeah, the world needs you. The, the world, world needs, needs creative it. people. And I said the other day, I was like, don't put your happiness in other people's opinions. Yeah. Because it can be very restraining. Because you can't live your life for other people. Nah, live it for yourself. And if it fails, at least you tried. You failed, but you tried, yeah. and you did it. You know, you tried. No one else did it for you. Yeah. And there's still a sense of achievement in that, even if it doesn't work out. Give yourself a good old pat on the back. Yeah. And start up again. Definitely. Did I ever tell you there was a point in my life where I couldn't get a job? Right. Mm -hmm. So I had no money. I couldn't get a job. I hated the fact that I didn't know what I wanted to do and the only thing I knew was that I didn't really want to work for someone else because I love doing things for myself in the way that I wanted to do them and I kept seeing those adverts you remember ages and ages ago it was like you could earn money online by filling out surveys yeah and I was like can you imagine having a job online like yeah. can you imagine being able to like be your own boss and earn money online like it was so beyond me but i just thought that would just be the dream the dream <laughs> and now look <laughs> now look but if yeah. i hadn't have persisted my blog was not earning me any money at all for ages like nothing i was doing was earning money i think a lot of people don't realize i worked at this when i wasn't earning anything from it yeah to get to this point but there have been many times where I could have given up or many times where I could have stopped because it felt like I was putting in the work and getting nothing back. Yeah. But you just have to persevere and you have to just keep going. Well, yeah, out of the four years I've been doing it, or um, five years I've been doing it, I spent three years of it not earning a penny. Yeah. It's only been the last two years where I've been earning money, but I didn't, like, some, obviously you need money to live and stuff and, like, pay bills and stuff, but, like... If it is this sort of line of work that you want to be getting into, you just got to keep going. Yeah, and I had other jobs while it. I was doing it too. Like yeah. I was like, this is not earning me any money, but I love it so much. I don't want to stop, and I really feel like this could be something. And I had people saying to me, "What's the point? Like, why do you do that? What? Like, what's the reason for it? Like, yeah. I don't get it." I had people that would tell me not to do it, and I just ignored everyone because I loved it too much yeah. to not do it. I was like, no. It's gonna be something one day, I just know it. Um, so even though I was like working in New Look and working in the Wiltshire Wildlife Trust. Oh, hey, oh cute. Yeah, I was still doing it. I would go to the, I would be working in the Wiltshire Wildlife Trust and then at the weekend I would go to London and take pictures at like a London Fashion Week. Mm. I just had to fit it in around what I was doing until the point where I started actually making some money from it. Then I was like, okay, maybe I can leave my job. I was thinking you, having a documentary done. I just don't think it would be... Or like a coming-of-age film. <laughs> who would play me? <laughs> or who would you want to play you in a movie? Jim That's Carrey. another question I get asked a lot. <laughs> Jim Carrey? I love Jim Carrey. I just think he's like the perfect balance of insane and like... Yeah. Knows what he's doing. What the hell is that? I'm in San Francisco. Yeah, I just thought I'd drive there instead. <laughs> Look at that mountain bridge. Yeah, I know. What is that? the hell? And again, we've got more evaluation, more R&D. Each one is sealed. So we can put things like candles inside. If you want to come in and have a look, you're fine. Oh yeah, I'll move in. <laughs> Testing booths. <laughs> oh. oh <my> God. <laughs> that looks like something <laughs> from a horror film. <laughs> That's so cool. We can test baths, we can test toilet paper products, we test candles and booths, we test things like um, Amazing. So it's a lot of a lot of testing goes on in here to make sure that our products are living up to what people are expecting. Yeah. This looks so cool. Look, there's a little bit of Soella Beauty over there. Where? On the shelf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
right below Joe Malone. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fave. Hey, case. <laughs> because literally, yeah. you know, you've got. This is where the ladies will make up the samples. We get all the oils come in. They will make up candles. They'll make up EDTs. They'll wow. make up soap. They'll make up everything. Um, I'm moving a bit more. Try, but they're also they can't touch the stuff about everything. This is your yeah. dream job, is yeah. testing diffusers. And it's wonderful because if we give something to a customer, we want to make sure that it works well. We just discovered the best place yeah. to keep your scents and perfumes are actually in the fridge. Mm. Better be taking them out of the bathroom. <laughs> We're about to go and mix our own fragrances. Oh, really? So basically these are styles you can kind of do trials. You've got, this is basically what the perfumers do. When we're coming up with the fragrance, or when they're coming up with the fragrance rather, we'll say kind of what we like, and then you yes. go in and just make it go on pieces. Entirely. So that's the oriental heart. And this is the roses. Oh wow. So we'll keep these here anyway, so you can always refer back to them. Oh, I'm just a bit scared that they all smell so great on their own, but then the minute you mix yeah. them, I could create something quite awful. I didn't work the, easy, the easiest thing to do is to blend the kind of the not so strong materials together. Okay. Okay, so we're putting in these. Yes, okay. these big ones. Your second? Yeah. <laughs> you can leave me in. <laughs> I'll be halfway home and think, oh no, he's not here. <laughs> he stayed. Finish my first one. No pressure. Can <laughs> you imagine after the first one? Oops. <laughs> Beginning of your empire. <laughs> <laughs> name. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> so cool. Okay, number one, done. We talked about the illustrative things yes. that you like. Yeah. So I mean, it's just wow. a bit cool. of a. It's not a real line list, but it just shows These you like cool. some of the patterns yeah, that we could do. Yeah. Executive. Cool. One to take away. Yeah. And sort of really reflect on and yeah. think about. Talk about the prints you like, the patterns. But we thought it would help, kind of, with the with the yeah. idea of smelling fragrances. Mm. I like the clear, the clear one. The mm. one where you can see the product through yeah, the. Yeah, that would be well Oh, and I'm like, oh, <gasps> no. have you bought foamy <laughs> banana trees, Frankie? <laughs> oh my god! The next experience. <laughs> that is so exciting. Oh, so cute. But yeah, initially when you said banana, I went, oh, that's going to be. But even that, I would buy that. I don't like bananas because oh, it looks great. Yeah, it's a wash off product. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like you're going to go and smoke. Yeah. 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 Looking at the really bright, colourful fun. That's the one! Oh, beautiful! Oh. Fun, exciting uh, fruit fragrances, edible, juicy. Can we just talk about how oh. funny it is that I made friends with Mark because he reviewed my products and now you're in I like, know, this is so weird. Eating, <laughs> smelling products for the first time. Oh, I love that. What's this? Watermelon. Watermelon one? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I need to smell oh, them both because now I don't think it's so sweet again. Oh. <laughs> 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 the three's to come. Yeah, I think number one. I'm in the one. Yeah. yeah. Let's have a smell of number three, because this one is kind of the wild card. Mm -hmm. I thought of this one as watermelon candy. Mm. So it's very, very crisp. It's very sweet. It's got a real sort of tart edge to it. I love watching all your reactions before it reaches yeah, me. Yeah. It makes me really excited. <laughs> it's a mini candle test. <laughs> yeah. It's made me really excited for a watermelon smell, though. Oh, I like yeah. them. Yeah. That's quite nice. Good way. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like them all, so. Yeah. I think this one smells more watermelony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but number one. So you now, <coughs> how are you confused? I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't hate it. It smells like bananas, so that's probably my feedback on that one. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this smells exactly like the lip balm that I love, the banana scented I lip balm. That. Yeah. See, that doesn't give me cowboy vibes. No. No, yeah. this one is more. It's less like sweet. This one's more sweet. That one's more just like foamy banana. Yeah, that's so foamy banana. Do you think people yeah, like generally do like a banana smelling product? Because yeah, I'm really my, worried that. As well. so and I think when it's part of a range of <coughs> other scents, yeah, yeah, if it was an entire banana yeah. range, it I mean, yeah. it wouldn't be to everyone's <laughs> taste. Like Would you be. use a banana shower yeah. product? Yeah. Where's my phone? On Instagram stories. Okay, well we'll see how that yeah. poll does towards. Yeah. Good. I'm gonna, During the meeting, everyone go and vote. <laughs> I'll be the one. No. Summary. <laughs> it's quite. It is quite split. Banana split. But then, do you think it would be the same if I said, "Would you use?" And I guess it depends on the formulation. Yeah. Too. And the context of the packaging. And the context of the packaging. Yeah. When it's a really fun foam, you'll go, "I want to try that out," especially if it's a new mm. product. Yeah. Like that Mm, like a creamy so yellow. See, I think the oh, mist can be quite apricot or peach heavy yeah, because yeah. it is, oh, I think, so one of the fruits that you could probably get away with like yeah. wearing oh, more on you. Oh, yeah. 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 you are going to love this. Yeah. 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 So bad. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. thinking. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think this one's a bit askew, is a bit younger. Yeah, it's I think this one is a bit more fun. The first one is really sophisticated. Mm. I think this one is a bit younger. Oh, uh, I don't know what it's a bit more fun. Time, but it really reminds me. Do you say pineapple? Yes. Yes. It's fruit yes. salad. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The first one has that soft. <laughs> um, that Fanta. <laughs> <laughs> Fruit twist. Yeah. Fruit twist. Yeah, I see what you mean by younger, though, mm. definitely. Well, yeah, I'm not as much of a fan of that one. Yeah. I think that's too sweet for me, personally. Mm, quite sharp again. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I can't pick with those ones. <laughs> I feel like the second one better. Yeah, I'm leaning. It smells so much stronger when you sn smell them both together. Yeah, I think I like this one. Wait, was this the... That's the first one. <laughs> My nose messed up. You need to sniff your skin. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. Cleanse your palate. You exactly. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh, I like that. I like that. I'd wear that. Okay, I've got that. I'd wear that. So this is for the fruit cocktail fragrance. fragrance. Yes, yeah. that's the one. This is quite well, nice. It's worth just leaving yeah. for a few minutes and come back. Yeah. And, yeah. Like. and I'm surprised I like this as much as I do because I find scents like this harder mm. to. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think this is it's where... sweeter, but it has <coughs> more depth to it. It's not just yeah. like a sweet smell, it's got like depth. Exactly. When you were making your own fragrances, you had, I think, a lot of sweeter notes in there, so mm. raspberries and cassis, which can be quite sweet. But when you balance them out with the woodier base, yeah. the florals and the heart, yeah. Yeah. it doesn't come out as being sickly sweet. It just gives that lovely bit of fresh ripeness on top. Yeah. You, I do. Yeah. you really haven't? I don't think so. Oh, Mark's not seen any designs for Splash. Oh, no. This is coming out in July. Oh, nice. Oh, I like that. This that would be that's not nice there. Board and a bath soak. Oh, I love drench. the um, so a little carton. Thing in that. <laughs> and then there's a wash back. But that was when we Cute. settled on the yeah. And mm. yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. Dang. It's, Pop, it's Poppy's favourite smell so far. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I love it. But this one is interesting. I can smell the peachy of, notes or something peach. apricot or there's, peachy. There's also a bit of coconut in there. And a little mm. bit of almond. Oh, I don't know, but I love that one. Yeah. yeah. So there's a little bit of oh, almond. <laughs> Damn it. This is her. <laughs> this is really <laughs> hard. <laughs> Mark's like, if you don't do number one. To be honest, one or two. I can't choose. Honestly, can't choose. There's number three to come, I think. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. This is the bit I find, isn't this the it's bit I always find the hardest? Yeah. Making the fragrance decision is a big decision. Yeah. So I'm it's gonna not, eat another not, phone. No, no. <laughs> 53% yes, 47% yes. no. Ooh. Interesting how there's a real so divide on. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I love I number two. <laughs> yeah. The more I smell it. When yeah. you go back to it, you're like, I do quite like the idea of seeing nice it in the yeah. squeezy yeah, tube. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Easy to use as well. I think that's mm. important. Yeah. 
Yeah. You can get squeezy jams now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've seen them. Squeezy marmite. I know, I love these like <laughs> smelly <laughs> meetings. <laughs> and I do feel like the strength lies in the shower product for the summer ranges because yeah. most people are shout, like showering during summer yeah. months rather and than having bath and, and holidays. Stuff, yeah. What about yeah. bath milk? Fruit. Or do you think milky is a bit more wintry? Well, we could, so we're going to bring the bath milk out in core as well. So we'll yes, okay, so we will always have that one. We don't want to have bath milk overload. So you like a really cool Smash picnic, botanic like like just Yay! Have you got any of that house? No, not yet. Yeah. When do we get, um... Next week. Maybe. We get samples of yeah. the... <gasps> so we've had samples in of half the range already. Amazing. And they are just being checked off internally. And then the second half is coming next week. So after Chinese New Year, second half's coming in. And then um, the girls are getting everything ready to box up to get some anti use as well. So then... So exciting. It's really there. It's really there. So, that's... so this one, a bit more floral, a little bit stronger, a little bit more kind of the serenity of, say, like, cashmere and lining that with fluffy slippers and mm. that kind of thing. So. I wish I could describe scents like you described them. Yeah. <laughs> I find it not to be doing that. <laughs> I find it so hard to try and describe a scent. Mm. But that's just it, isn't it? You know, we can all talk about the way that yeah. something smells in terms of it smells like these oh, foods, it smells like this fresh. Yeah. But it's about more it. about kind of what you The story. The story, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. emotional connection yeah. with it. Mm. Oh no, and that's number one. Awesome. And I chose number two. Oh, that is number one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no. Which one are you all about now? <gasps> this one, thinking more along the lines of escapism, but kind of English weekend away. So the concept behind this one for the fragrance, for perfume as well, was you think of those great, big, beautiful manor houses. You've got beautiful grounds. You have a nice dinner in the restaurant, but you come out in the morning into that beautiful, sort of that English late summer sunshine. So it's green, it's floral, it's very fresh, but it's also quite elegant, quite grown up, quite romantic. So calm, just thinking yeah. about that. Yeah. Okay. I need to take you on flights yeah. with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I love I that. You are gonna <laughs> love this one. <laughs> yeah. It is quite German only. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was very. <laughs> no, that's my favourite one. This is Christmas 2019. So I think oh, great about this I love that. Gifting as well, I would say. Mm. It's, it's, really it's the same one. It's, it's, it's more it's mature, I think. Yeah. That smell. Yes. Is that one of your faves? As a fray, yeah. Like, mm. I'd wear that as a fray. It's a frag. Oh my god. I'm sorry, it takes yeah. <laughs> This is going to really <laughs> annoy you. <laughs> <laughs> going to be like, I Is it coming out yet? Yeah. <laughs> Two more years, Mark. <laughs> Next Christmas, I'm like, Is it coming out? <laughs> it's sophisticated. You could get this for Christmas and then wear it for New Year's party. So it's yeah. like, well, yeah. it's yeah. summer. Well, yeah. I think so too. And it's a nighttime fragrance. I wouldn't maybe wear it. It's a bit. But yeah, I think that's really. It is, isn't it? Yes, but like, but like, like, but like a bit deeper. Obviously. Which is your favourite one you smell? Fragrance wise. I put, I put what Mark's favourite? <laughs> 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 I love that <laughs> Sophie's taking notes about my favourite and Mark's favourite. No, sorry, it was escapism number four. The one that's the house. Right. Yeah. 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 We think we like this one more, which is the second one. <laughs> Hands up it. if you prefer this one more than the first one. Oh one. <coughs> Jeff's not sure. Not sure. Jeff, need, you're, you're always to... the anomaly. <laughs> <laughs> I need a bit more time on this one because they're very different. Yeah, yeah. they are think, very I different. Need to link back to the. I think the concept we've got of Scandinavian number two works mm. better. Yeah. yeah. Number one is more. Yeah. Slightly more indoorsy. Mm. It's a cuddly. Mm. Cuddly. You know, this one's more cuddly. Yeah. This one's more outdoorsy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love this one. Yeah. I want. I want yeah. to wear this. Yes, yeah, so do I. Yeah. They're both quite rosy. Really? So it's not the second one. They both have a lot of rose in there. Oh my god! Really right. Isn't that funny? One, because there's pine in it, it doesn't smell yeah. like rose. Like rose. <coughs> I tell you what, it is. It's that mm. it smells more like a real rose, yes. rather than like the rose that you yeah. think yeah. Yeah. rose yeah. should smell like. It so smells like a real. Exactly. When you grew up in the countryside, you have that smell of a rose. It's quite yeah. green. Yeah. It's quite dewy. It's a bit snappy. It's a bit. Mm -hmm. 
Number two is trying to make it nicely. Really this nice. is one of my favourite scents really this whole really meeting. Nice. Number two. Yeah. Really? I want to buy this now. Not, Lucy, that's not so next nice. year. <laughs> <laughs> Although, to be fair, I do get to at least yeah. use this a lot more yeah. before yeah. everyone else. Because you'll be that's testing true. it for a while. Yeah, I'll be testing it. Yeah. 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 Don't worry, I'll. When you're going to test it, I'll sort you out. Yeah. Two. Oh my god. <laughs> Have we just picked the 2090? <laughs> Bring on 2020, guys! Yeah. It's worth tens of thousands, but it's yeah. What is it? What is it? It's, um, it's whale sick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And then it washes yeah. up on the. Um, like it washes so up we're on smelling the beach. this now? Oh. But this yeah. is a synthetic yeah. version of it. Yeah, this is not yeah. the whale. This is not oh. actual whale. whale. Ready? And a cord. Oh, I wouldn't have done it in the real thing. Oh. No. 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 Especially because you know what. fragrances have the sin? <laughs> what is this? Just like that at all. Who is this? Who is this? This is way more trendy. I love how you turn the camera on for this bit. It's a synthetic, it's a synthetic <laughs> version. Oh. So how did you find that? Do you know what? I've had better days. <laughs> no, I've honestly had. It was like my Disney today. It was like you're in Disneyland with all the fragrances. We made fragrances. We learned about fragrances, what works well together. I, I honestly had the best day. Oh, thank you for coming. I love Anytime. that you get to, got to see a little bit of like insight into. Yeah, like I was in a proper meeting as well, and I was just like, <laughs> yeah, so feeling very like, what's the word, professional. But no, it was amazing. It was really nice to get to smell all the original scents and I learned so much yeah. about fragrance that I just I didn't thought expect I knew, it but to didn't. Be like that. I don't know what I expected today. Yeah. We made our own fragrances. We had a meeting about potential new fragrances for new ranges. Oh my god. That was so fun. Literally amazing. And now we are about to do the two hour journey home. Howdy yo! So I think I'm gonna end today here, mainly because my battery is flashing and I don't know how much longer it's gonna stay on. But uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today and had fun with me and Mark at the fragrance house. This is also, quickly, the place that actually does make my fragrances for all my ranges. Mm. Cool. Ciao for now. Bye, Bye.